Hello, this is Chris Lorenz at Alberta Provincial Skills Canada 2010, a gathering of the best and brightest minds in skilled trades throughout Alberta, or in this reporter's opinion, the perfect place for Canada to start breeding super soldiers. I've come here today not only to gather knowledge on a myriad of trades I didn't even know existed, but also to see the influence of technology on these trades and what that means for the future. Let's see what they have in store. Two hundred years ago, these girls would have actually had to bring their own severed human head to practice cosmetology on. Thanks to technology, we now have these dummies to take those poor souls' place. This is Nada Zelkovich, one of the judges of the graphic design section here at uh, Alberta Provincial Skills. So two hundred years ago, graphic design wouldn't have been the same thing. It would have been more artists and that sort of thing? Yeah, two hundred years ago, actually, there was no such thing as graphic design. It was more like graphic art. Nowadays it is graphic design because uh, we combine images and text and we produce all kinds of things. So with the evolution of technology came the birth of graphic design as we know it today? Yeah, well something like that, yeah, yeah. But I mean uh, you just can't use the computer, you still have to be uh, skilled and you have to be creative in order to produce something on that computer. My parents used to tell me about how they had to pick up their own pipe when they were kids. Thanks to technology, we have robots to do that for us. Uh, so Marco, I've been here for about 10 minutes and I haven't seen a single robot or computer. Is it still possible to lay bricks without the use of technology? A person's got to be involved, you need a bricklayer. Even 200 years into the future, do you think people will still be laying their own bricks? It depends if your buildings are built out of bricks, that's the thing. Uh, I mean, masonry's been around for as long as Romans and everything, right? It's a, it's a traditional trade, and the importance of it is because it's, it's more intricate. Uh, you're building something that's not just... It, at the end of it, it's a piece of art if you actually look at it. It's a finished product. Well, there you have it, Provincial Skills 2010, where I got to see the influence that technology has on some trades and the lack of influence it has on others. It's clear that some of these trades will remain unchanged hundreds of years into the future, no matter how big the influence of technology gets, which is kind of reassuring, because we're going to need brick fortresses when pipe-yielding robots come attacking us. From Alberta Provincial Skills Canada, this is Chris Lorenz, signing off.